Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now talk about something important that is wings and appendages. So let us look at the wings and appendages. Dorsal view of the cockroach that is view from the back side. So when you look at it from the back side, the wings we will describe which are the wings that are present. So this wing which is present towards the anterior end is the fore wing and this one which is present towards backward that is the hind wing. So two pairs of wings are present so both of them occurs in pairs like fore wing two pairs again hind wings will be two pairs the one is hidden behind this. So four wings are protective and they cover the hind wings. Now here it is like both are flatter that's why you are able to see the see both of them but otherwise when not flattered the, the, your fore ring is the only one which is visible hind wing is located behind the fore wing so that is not visible so generally when you talk about the appearance of fore wing they are dark stiff and opaque so it is like an opaque paper you cannot see through them whereas when you look at the hind wings they are quite large when compared to the fore wing however they are transparent and thin so hind wings help in flight and the fore wings help in protection and they cover the hind wings so basically fore wings is dark stiff so it keeps everything secret and covered so it protects the hind wings and hind wings are the one which is light and therefore helps the um, cockroach to fly right so this was about the wings now let us look at the ventral view so from the ventral view we can more clearly see the appendages that is the uh, legs so they have three pairs of joint appendages or jointed legs as we call it fore leg middle leg and hind leg so obviously this is the fore leg this is the middle leg and this is the hind leg Right. So here fore leg there is a little similarity between the fore leg and the middle leg. However, the hind leg is modified for jumping and hopping purposes. So hind legs are quite larger when compared to fore leg and middle leg and they are used for jumping or hopping purpose. So you would have seen cockroach can even jump a bit. So that is due to this modified hind leg. Now if you look at the place from where each of these legs arise you can see that all of them arise from the thorax region and that is why they are also known as proto prothoracic leg the fore leg is also called the thorax region this part is head and after that is thorax so if you see that the fore leg arises from the thorax region that is the prothoracic region so that is why it is also called prothoracic leg similarly middle leg is also called mesothoracic leg so that is just another name of it because they arise from the thorax from the thoracic segment basically so this is about the uh, legs of cockroach so the wings and appendages are clear now let us talk about head that is again an important thing now if you look at the head, the head is triangular in shape. Now it is not very visible in this picture but if you because it is the dorsal view. So this portion is your head. It is formed by the fusion of six segments. So when you look at it very closely you will actually see that it is formed by six separate segments joined together forms this head. The head is located anteriorly at right angles to the longitudinal body axis. So when you see this is the longitudinal body axis and the head is located at 90 degrees to this longitudinal axis. Head hat shows great mobility due to the flexible neck. Now the place where the head is joined to the thorax a neck is present and the neck is extremely flexible that is why the cockroach can move his move the head here and there so in all the directions the head can be moved a pair of antenna is present on the head which is very evident from here this is the antenna and what is the purpose of antenna they are sensory in nature that is they act as sense organ they are thread-like structures and they have sensory receptors in them 
they help in communication that is if two insects want to communicate with each other they do not speak like human beings right so they can communicate with the help of the antenna because the antenna can detect things they also help in detection of mates for example during reproduction when a cockroach wants to reproduce and is searching for a mate that there also the antenna helps to communicate so it is basically for communication a pair of compound eyes which you can see here the white dots represent the compound eyes now these are very high sensitivity to vision and they are composed of units called omatidia so eyes are nothing but the photoreceptor units they can uh, they are sensitive to light now it is seen that these omatidia these omatidia are small units which are present in multiple numbers in a cockroach and because of the presence of this omatidia the photoreception property is there if you talk about the eye cornea is the only part of omatidium which is visible from outside so from outside whatever we can see that is the cornea all other parts are inside so that is not visible externally and in the last but not the least mouth parts now if you look at the head of the cockroach very closely this is how it looks like this is the side view of the head so these are the antenna this is the compound eye this visible region of the compound eye is nothing but the uh, cornea and this entire region is nothing but mouth so this entire part forms the mount so you can see that in mount also there are many different different parts different different structures so we will talk about the mount parts in little more detail because in mount also there are many separate parts which needs to be discussed separately so we will do that in the next slide now from this picture see you it is very evident because this is the ventral view so if you look at the shape of the head you can see you can feel that triangular shape okay so with this we got some idea about the head of the cockroach now we will talk about the mouth parts in little more detail what are the various parts present there so let us look at the mouth parts of the cockroach so if you look at this part this part will get divided into the each of the separate parts which together form the mouth so the first part that we'll talk about is labrum labrum is nothing but the upper lip it looks something like this and it bears chemoreceptor on inner side so chemoreceptor will detect the presence of chemicals so where is labrum located here in this figure this is labrum so this is a magnified image of the same so it is nothing but the upper lip see this is the side view right so this is upper lip and this orange color thing is lower lip next is a pair of mandibles what are they they are thick hard appendages below labrum so just below the labrum you see some appendages thick and hard these are called mandibles and they exist in pairs now this is a side view of the cockroach right so on the other side you have one more so that means they are two in number that is up in pair they are thick hard appendages they bear pointed teeth like structures so they help in grinding the food next is a pair of maxillae where is where is maxilla maxilla is this one this structure which you see here that also again one is present on the other side so they are used for chewing and grounding we are all factory receptors so they also help in chewing so they also have some pointed structures they bear all factory receptor that is the sense of smell so it can detect smell so basically see by now you saw that the mouth parts can detect taste it can detect chemicals it can detect smell so most of the sensory parts are located here and the fourth one is labium labium is nothing but the lower lip so labrum is upper lip and the labium is lower lip so this is how the lower lip will be so where is it this is labium so basically you can see this and this they both enclose the mandible and maxilla in between so that is how it is so labium is the lower lip and it bear the test taste receptors 
so they can detect taste and the last one is hypopharynx hypo means lower pharynx is the pharynx we all know right which helps in swallowing in case of human beings so similar kind of a structure is present here as well but here it acts as a tongue so we can say that it is analogous to the tongue which is present in human beings and it bears several sensory receptors so it can sense so many things so where is hypopharynx located hypopharynx is basically enclosed by all other parts of the mouth so it is located somewhere in the center so from here it is not visible because this is the side view so only these four parts are visible so again on the other side also these four parts are there but at the center hypopharynx is there which is surrounded by all the above parts so hypopharynx is present at the center see it the appearance also it looks like tongue so these are the different parts of the mouth right so just imagine the size of the cockroach then imagine its head the head itself looks so small in that head you have mouth and inside that mouth you have so many different parts so basically you can view all these things only when you dissect a cockroach and you try to observe them under a microscope so anyways we are done with the mouth thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again